In this episode of Vault Hunters 118, we're taking a break from Create, and we are going to be chasing down three, that's right, three treasure rooms. They just updated the game, and treasure rooms are finally fixed. No more empty chests. Also, uh, almost all of our skills have changed. Some of them in a very positive way, some of them not so positive. Our dash? Ugh. It's so weak. And it's so expensive now. Yep. They did a huge skill overhaul, and now our dash is a two distance nine mana cost 13 cooldown. Ah, oh, but it's all right because our heal is now seven and a half seconds cooldown, 22 mana cost, and it heals. What is that? What is that? Three and a half hearts, even more. Wow. Hunter uh, just got a lot better, as you can see. It now has a bigger radius, lasts for a lot longer, however, it takes a lot longer. The cooldown's huge, but you can see every upgrade, it goes down and down. Though we currently have Observer, which, uh, this should be a lot better now. It'll take a while, but, uh, not so bad. Farmer hasn't changed at all, I don't think. Yeah, not at all. And Stonefall's got some new stuff, and, uh, funny enough, I thought we were gonna have our skill points redistributed back to us. However, even with the new upgrade requirements, like haste is more expensive, strength, I believe, is a little more expensive, maybe speed is too, I'm not sure, but even with the upgraded costs, we still have the enough, like, skill points, which is 26, 25 for our level, and one because of a skill orb we ate last episode, so we're sitting pretty. Now, about those treasure rooms, we have a blank key that we bought from the soul market as well as a readied crystal all we have to do is infuse this key with a cluster so we're going to be eating through some of our black opal supplies today and as far as the pog ores go we have enough bombing night oh and it looks like they fixed the tooltip issue on pizza night as well as xenium so from the unique gems we have the one two three four five six seven eight so one away from a pog the one being gorgonite uh, Bombing Knight is an easy cluster, so we'll, we'll just actually, we'll just do that right now. We'll send it here. So this will be our Bombing Knight key. And then I believe we can make another blank key. Uh, if, I think we have enough resources. Oh, right. Black Chromatic Steel. Do we have enough Chromatic Steel? For one Black Chromatic, uh, can I make any more? Just enough? Unless I have any carbon. Nope, exactly enough. Perfect. Then we're sending it. That does mean we have to fortune up our 11 black opal. Ooh, that is, that is a sad, sad amount of black opal. Especially because it's been made a lot rarer in this version. Apparently it was a bug on how common black opal was. Great. A whole 11, and this is a bugged amount. 11 turning into 26. I cannot complain about that. Okay, okay. Anyways, let's take our six Echo Gems and turn it into a perfect. Very nice. And we need to make our Black Chromatic Steel as well as a Cluster. So three perfect Black Opal. Oh my gosh, we are just blowing through that. Uh, black Chromatic Steel, one and two. Ugh, so expensive, but it's all going to be worth it. Then we need a Key Mold, like so. And then we need a blank key, like so. Ba bam And now we need, hmm, will it be Sparkleteen, Pizza Night, Tobium, or Upaline? I suppose we should check what our ores are looking like. Hmm. You know what? We have a Pizza and Jewel and seven Pizza Night and three Pizza Night ore, and we were baited so many times by a Pizza Night door that I just feel like it is destiny that we fortune up our pizza night ore uh, and make the key out of that. Ooh, three turns into eight. Oh, that's the whole cluster. Amazing, so we get to keep our seven. Perfect. You do love to see it. Surrounding the black opal, we get a pizza cluster. Amazing. You'll also notice our key anvil has completely vanished. It's just gone. That's because they removed it from the pack. You now just combine them in a regular anvil and a pizza and key and a bombing night key. I love the bombing night key, by the way. It's really pretty. They are finally ours, and there's the garage opening directly beneath us. Why are my villagers all zombies in here? What? 
I I just wanted to trade. I oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The zombie got in and broke down all the doors and they killed all my villagers. Oh, that's gonna make finding emeralds harder. Well, uh, aside from that tragedy over there, we finally can fill our backpack with three treasure keys. Tubium, Bombing Knight, and Pizza Knight. Oh my gosh, that is, that, that's actually, that's actually pretty insane. And in addition to our treasure magnet with uh, plus 25% treasure, as well as our 7% item rarity, 7% item rarity, which I don't think, yeah, neither of those beat. We have six and seven. Yeah, I think we're still going to have over 50% item rarity once we're actually looting the treasure rooms. Uh, I am going to bring some shulker boxes into, I think two of them should be okay. But like a third one can't hurt, uh, just in case, because I do not want to run out of space. And usually our inventory, you know, most of it goes into the double pouch, but it can get pretty packed in there. It can get pretty packed. But yeah, three treasure keys, three treasure doors. Could we do it in one vault? Probably not. But I, I feel like the chances of getting one of them in this vault got to be pretty high. All right, just a vault east facing. You'll love to see it. First room is, uh, what is this? It's a puzzle room. Oh. Have we gotten a puzzle room before? I can't remember. Is this our first puzzle room? So the way puzzle rooms work, oh, and it's a good one. The way puzzle rooms work is all these blocks and stuff, you mine them. This is a really good one. It's all rares and commons with only one pink piece. I have to do it. It's an Omega room. It's fine, it's fine. There'll be more vaults, there'll be more vaults. But like, Come on, you can't pass up the puzzle room. And look how fun it is. You just, you break all these little blocks. Can I break them quick, quick? Okay, I'll use, I'll use this silk touch pickaxe. Uh, wow, haste two. I forgot we had it. Okay, there's a common piece. Yeah, that's all you do. You break them and there's a little chance that you get uh, puzzle pieces, but most of it is wooden chest loot. The only thing is I don't think these give you any XP, which is a little unfortunate, but, uh, oh, that's right, it's an amethyst cave, so our water's all pink and pretty. Nice. All right, well, let's, I mean, let's see if we can't do this, right? Alrighty, let's see if we actually need more than these three, because if we don't, I mean, that is, what, five minutes? That could, This could be one of the fastest completions. Yeah, three rares. Oh my gosh, that is the fastest, like, from scratch puzzle room I have ever done. These things can take ages, and we just finished it. So, um, some of you might be thinking, oh my gosh, why is he wasting, you know, six minutes of looting time for a, for a, for an Omega room. That's why uh, the little sound it plays is worth it. No, it's the 25 gilded chests that we get to vein mine. Yes! No traps. Oh, Omega. What was that? What? Was that a, was that a mob trap sound? That's the coolest thing in the world. And then this guy I'm going to dump our garbage blocks into. Oh, whoa, Dreamstone. Oh my gosh. Yes. Finally, Dreamstone. Jeez, I've been looking for that for ages. Also, that mob trap made a sound, right? What, what do we get from all that? 19 Vault Diamonds! <laughs> from a single room! Okay, Vault Diamond record, ladies and gentlemen, in one room. Alrighty, let's put the regular set back on. You know what, treasure room or not, th th this has been a treasure room. What is it? What did I say? East facing vault? East facing vault. Okay. 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 That's, 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 that's almost goofy. That's almost silly. <laughs> Where's my blocks? <laughs> oh my gosh. As much as we're not here to loot, a man simply cannot resist uh, some nice living chests. We are in need of a few mods to help us out. So I'm just gonna, you know, just, just just a few, just a few, just a few. I need to use dash a lot more sparingly now that it uh, costs so much. I know why they nerfed it. Like, it, it got too powerful really quickly, you know? You could go really, really far for a very small investment of skill points. Oop, another obelisk. But I don't know, I, I like a dash, you know? It's, it's, it's my little dash boy, you know? My little dash boy is so expensive now to get, like, really, really good. 
We might have to take these ores because the bounty we have is for ores. And just, I mean, look at that. Right? Look at all these ores. I need painite. A lot of it. Actually, we, we need painite. Like, I used all of our painite to repair our armor. We are, we are actually, like, flat freaking broke on painite. Ah, uh, hello, second Omega Room. Omega Rooms, they can't spawn the, you know, they can't spawn the, the things. It's a living one, but it's really spaced out. It's a really spaced out room. I'm going to keep moving. It'll take me the rest of the vault to do it. I I know it's we've already we've had one you know that that's you got you got to balance out the greed right you got to temper it with the uh, restraint which I have so much of with six minutes left it's not really looking like we're gonna be getting uh, a door that we could use here but uh, definitely definitely think uh, a boss kill is viable especially with the new hunter I really like this new hunter ability I, I think it's a lot better. Like significantly so, the the length of time that it goes for is really really pleasing, right? It makes it feel a lot more worthwhile. Um, before Hunter was something you were able, you just kind of like threw up in a room, right? If you saw something great, if you didn't see something, you still kind of had a look because you had no idea whether or not you'd you'd have missed it with such a tiny radius. So I, I think they found a really good balance with a long cooldown so you can't just throw it in every room and like just run, 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 run. But like actually, you know, kind of worth the cooldown. Ooh, Tubium. Nice. Wah! Very nice. That's gonna be a lot of XP. 3,000? Really? That's it? Oh, right, because the puzzle room doesn't care. That's right, doesn't count. Oh my gosh, 20 Vault Diamonds in a single run. That's ridiculous. I love it. I'm excited though. Why don't we use these uh, amazing things we got? Ooh, we got a Relic Fragment from the Richity set. That's our next one. 13 of these fellas turns into, ooh, I see a Gorgonite and an Echo Gem. Uh, nice, one Echo Gem, one Gorgonite, some more Upoline and Ashium. Wow, we could have, uh, could have had another Pog right there. Actually, I think it is another Pog. Yep, that's another bog made, which is great because uh, I want to make another windmill for another episode. So awesome, a possum. All right, we have another vault ready. This time I'm not gonna run my mouth or loot anything or whatnot. I'm just pure, uninterrupted, distractionless vaulting. <laughs> Oh, yes. That's a bombing night door. And there's a boat skeleton. Come on. Don't ruin my moment here. We only have three minutes left. Or I don't have time for this. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Bombing night door. Three minutes on the clock. We are right behind the uh, portal. So we'll see. Bombing night key. Get these on for the loot. All right. Blammo. Alakazamo. Oh, yes! All right, struggle box time. We are just gonna dump. Uh, not that, not that. All right, everything else we are just gonna dump. Dump, 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 dump. Fast as we can. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Uh, okay, now the shovel needs to come out. Efficiency two, help your father. This is all treasure sand. All of it needs to be mined. I should be able to loop around. Still, plenty of time since we're right next to it. Yep, this is good. All right, let's just get all of that in there. I uh, need to be up. good. Pick that up. Up, up, up. Okay, all right. And we are out of here. Let's go. That was very exciting. I have no time to cover the loot. Uh, and no problems, no issues, plenty of time, extremely calculated, food ran out at the end, but we should be able to make this a little bit of dashing, a little bit of jumping, yes, yes, 
Treasure room one of three, the bombing night door. Ugh. Good times. Wow, 5K. Does, do treasure chests give you a lot of XP? Because I didn't touch much. I, I touched like a few chests. Yeah, okay. Treasure chests give you uh, mobs on alive, I guess. 1300. What, what gave me 5K? Treasure rooms. Treasure rooms give you 3000. Oh, and treasure sand. Right, right, right. Okay, loot time. Oh my gosh. It just said and we did that. We did one of the keys. Holy. Alrighty, all the loot of treasure room number one is contained within this gilded chest. Ah, <laughs> uh, not this. Yep. Yep. Oh my gosh, look at this. I mean, first of all, two pogs. Two pogs. One room, two pogs. Six black chromatic steel, which has to be a lot. An entire pouch. A full pouch. What? Uh, we got Escalium, Sparkle Team, Bombing Knight, Tubium, Upoline, Pizza Knight, and Xenium. So too short of even more pogs. Two extraordinary Laramars. Two of them. This is a traitor. You can put a villager in this and, and no more zombification problems. A mob terrarium! <gasps> okay, that's actually really good. These things are really expensive. These things are really expensive. And, uh, because this vault meat block. Yeah, look at that. And you need these binding plates. Okay, that's really good. Uh, Mega Torch! Prevents mob spawning. Two times emeralds, two times golds, two times wart. And a pick a ring! Ooh, yeah. Really good. Got some gear roll as well. But, uh, what say we fill this chest even more and continue looking for others? That was, that was so stupidly stressful, it's still setting in what we just did, uh, and how good that is. I mean, two, two pogs and almost enough gems to make more, for one, is incredible. Uh, the, the modded stuff that we got, we can, we can use those. Even though we don't have those mods unlocked, we can actually use them, uh, because treasure room modded stuff is special, right? And, uh, that was the only door I saw in that run. <laughs> yeah, for the entire run, I was completely dry up. That was the only door, and it was bombing night. Huge. Stop it with the Escalium bait. Is this more Escalium bait? <gasps> no, it's Tubium! Oh, yes! That's early! All right! Number two! Oh, yes, 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 yes! Unlock it, please! Hello, hello. What'll it be today? Woo! -hoo. Oh, I'm excited. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Alrighty, you know the drill. Another amazing treasure room. You'll love to see it. The last one we're looking for is Pizza Night. Can we do it? Can we do a double whammy this vault? I would certainly like to. Right down there, is that another bombing night door? <laughs> is that really? No, this is a gorgeous night door. All right, well, not for us, not for us. Oh, another gorgeous. Oh no, this is Upoline. Wow, this vault is full of doors. I love it, keep it coming. I'm sorry, Xmark Room. You might be one of my favorites, but uh, we're looking for a pizza night door. If you've seen one, let me know though, okay? You're my favorite. All right, with so little time on the clock, we are heading out of the vault. Another treasure room down the hatch. Only one more to go. But the last one's always the hardest because, you know, it's more likely that it's not the room you're going to get. Yeah, another 3,200 from treasure rooms. Oh, wow. Early door. Gorge night, though. Not what we're looking for. We're looking for that sweet, sweet pizza night. Uh, Scallium. <laughs> Always a scallium bait, man. It's it's a pretty color, but uh, you know, one day I'm gonna make an escalium key. Mark my words, I'm gonna make an escalium key, and we're just never gonna find a, a, another escalium door. Hello, gorgeous door. Ah, sparkling door. Oh, is that a tubium door? Looks like it. Not pizza night. I think pizza night would be a paler green, right? Yeah, that's tubium. Alrighty, alrighty. No problem. No problem. Coming to the end of this vault. Plenty of doors, but none of them pizza night. Though I did greet a little bit ornate chest here and there, so, you know, we have something to show for it. Come on now, pizza night, let's go! 
Oh, finally. Oh my gosh, this is like the third or fourth vault I've ran without even recording. And right in the first room. Oh, finally, 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 finally. I was gonna give up. I was getting bored. Whoo! Okay. There it is. The last one. I'd love to get something better than common. Ah, oh, we could take all the time in the world. Common. That's fine. That's fine. Whoa! Not bad, though. Not bad. Uh, oh my gosh, it's got a little, like, look at that. It's got a little, like, thing on the center. That's cute. I believe you can find scrolls for these as well, which is really, really fun. Oh my gosh, though. Suppose I have time to loot this vault. I don't, I don't even know if that's, like, a good idea or not. Maybe? I'm sure you could get some really cool stuff, right? I don't know, man. Ah. Oh. Woo! Okay, let's, uh, let's dig this all up. I think some of it is stuff that goes into the pouch, so that'll happen, but, uh, that is all right. Wow. Oh, three of these is apparently a lot to try to do all in one episode. Three is a lot. Dump all of that goodness in. And that is the final treasure room. I, I don't even know if I want to, like... Like, do I want to? Did I dump my green? Yes. Do I want to keep going in this vault? I mean... No? <laughs> Not really. I don't feel like I could complete this one. With the three cracked pearls. Uh, I mean, the zombie hide's not so bad. I think... I mean... I guess... No, I, I've, I've died in the last few vaults I ran. I don't really want to, like, die again. I, I don't know. What's this dungeon? Eh, yeah. You know what? You know what? You know what? We have so much Valk gear to roll. We have a lot of loot to get through, so I'm just... I'm... I'm free. I'm finally free of this curse. Three treasure rooms. One episode. <laughs> that's... That's pretty amazing. For as long as it took, still is amazing. I'm sure we're, we're gonna get, like, a good couple of thousand XP. Yeah, not bad, not bad. All right. We are free! All righty, all the loot of three treasure rooms, <laughs> I can't believe it, are in these chests. This is the mod stuff. This is our jemmy gems and crafting materials, and this is like Valkyr and randomables and stuff like that. So, starting with the really exciting mod stuff, three pouches. I, I mean, oh my gosh, three pouches, that's ridiculous. Two pickerangs. Pickerangs are amazing. Oh, wait. There we go. Fixed it. Pickerings are amazing. They're a pickaxe that you can throw. Ridiculous. Uh, this mob terrarium, literally, it, you can only find them in treasure chests as far as vault loot goes. They're craftable, but the, you need the Kajurium mod, and they actually use those mystery eggs we've been finding, uh, and it just automatically produces that, so I'm probably gonna set that up. Uh, a mega torch. Yep. Prevents hostile mob spawning. A diamond furnace. I mean, honestly, I'll just show you why this is so good. Say we really need, like, a bunch of coal or, like, cobblestone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's, like, double speed. You know what? For some reason, I thought it was faster, but it still is double speed. But, like, there's there's a lot of more interesting things you can do with it. But, yeah, see, like, that is kind of slow. That is kind of fast. So that's pretty nice. For some reason, I thought it was a lot faster. But still, good find. Uh, another waystone. Easy, easy. And then a trader. This is cool. Um, we can put a villager and a villager trading station inside of this block, and they'll just be safe inside of a block. We've got all of our gems. I mean, oh my gosh. This is enough pog gems to make two more pogs, the limiting factor being sparkle teen. We got two pogs. Bunch of black opal and wudadai and beniatite. We have an extraordinary wudadai. Six extraordinary laramar, which is about a stack and a half of gems. An extraordinary beniatite. Eight! Oh, eight black chromatic steel, all of these compressed blocks, a full skill orb, six skill shards, and 16 vault diamonds. We got more vault diamonds from the treasure sand, but I, you know, I put them all away, and I'm just gonna eat up that right there. And then as far as Valkyr goes, yep, 
we have all of this to roll, including two resilient focuses, which can only be found in the treasure chests. And they re-roll the number of repairs on a piece of Valkyr. So we're starting to really fill up our table here. Oh, two unidentified relic fragments. Uh, oh, I have my... Uh, these are both from the miner set, but I think we have both of them. No! We don't have miner's delight. One more in the miner's set. And we have a full relic. That is exciting. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Ooh, wither helmet, that'll be cute. Uh, six armor, that's pretty good. Ooh, 18 attack damage. That's already better than what we have. Uh, but, mm, have to toy with it. Soul, soul chance is cool. I think that's a percent chance to get more soul shards. 11 attack damage, no. Seven armor, very good. Seven armor, really good. Uh, Tenos Affinity. Okay. That's cool. It's a max roll. Edona Affinity and, ah, uh, Haste. Haste, is it? Okay. All right. That's really good. Okay. That's really good. Um... Bad implicit. Oh, that's sad too, but I bet it's a cute model. Uh, the goggles make it... Uh, that is not as cute of a model as I thought it would be. And, uh, whoa! Super mana regen, tier 4. Wow, okay. Not bad. I, that's, actually, that's actually a really good idol. And, of course, our epic plus to finish it all off. What? Oh my gosh. Reach, haste, and fatal strike chance. Wow. That's incredible. I mean, that's simply amazing. Holy. Well, uh, that looks like a new sword for us, if we can get it to be good. These boots, I mean, uh, they have a suffix open. But, uh, I don't know. What do I like more? 34% mana regen? Haste? Haste again? This could be like, oh, wow. Good gear. But that is going to do it for today's episode. We have completed our goal of three treasure rooms in one go. I did not think we were going to be able to do that. And now we have access to a bunch of haste idols and a lot of new and interesting things. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed and want to see more of this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Next episode, we'll be working back on Create. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody!